reading from Greendale Public Library. And this is my friend, Toy Horsey Buzzy. <laughs> this is probably how horses tell hello to us. And now time for hello song. Prepare your hands to clap. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. Let's wave right now. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. Let's stomp our feet. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. Very well. And now clapping again. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. Yay! Can you neigh like a horse? <gasps> Very well, because our story time today is going to be all about horses. And we need to prepare our hands and fingers. Can you wiggle your fingers like this? We can wiggle them and wiggle them and stop. Very well, and now open. Shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them on your lap, very well. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide your little mouth, but do not let them in. Okay, now I want you to pretend like your ten little fingers horses. Let's hide them behind and follow me. Ten little horses gallop into town. Very good. Five were black and five were brown. They gallop up, they gallop down, and they gallop and they gallop right out of town. Very well. So, did you hide them again? Try one more time. Let's go. Ten little horses gallop into town. Five were black and five were brown. They gallop up, they gallop down, they gallop and they gallop right out of town. Ten little horses gallop into town. Five were black. And five were brown. They gallop up, they gallop down, they gallop and gallop right out of town. Very good. I took a walk to town one day and I met a cat along the way. What do you think that cat did say? Hello? No, he said meow. Let's try one more time. I took a walk to town one day and I met a dog along my way. What do you think the dog did say? Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right. I took a walk to town one day and I met a pig along my way. What do you think the pig did say? Weak, weak, weak. I took a walk to town one day and I met a dog along my way. What do you think the dog did say? <gasps> right. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> I took a walk to town one day and I met a horse along the way. And what do you think that horse did say? Nay, nay. Very well. And that horse also asked me, do you want to take a ride? And now, Buzzy, it's time to read the book. Click Clop by Nicola Smith. All rights reserved by Boxer Books Limited. And permission to read this book was granted through Sterling Publishing Company. Click Clop by Nicholas Smith. Who wants a ride? Ask Mr. Horse. Me please, meows, 
this cat? <laughs> Let's see what Mr. Horse answered. Clip clop, clippity clop. We have to learn how to do clip clop, clippity clop. Let's try with me. Clip clop, clippity clop. Can you do this with your hands? Clip clop, clippity clop. Very well. I want to ride too, please, Mr. Horse, says Doc. Woof, woof. Up you get, says Mr. Horse. <laughs> clip clop, clippity clop. What about me? Wink, wink. I want to ride too. Please, Mr. Horse, says Pig. Up you get, says Mr. Horse. What will happen? Yes, you're right. They will meet the dog. Click, clop, clippity clop. Don't leave me behind. Quack, quack, quack. Up you get, says Mr. Horse. And all three of them here already. Cat, dog, pig, and the dog running. Quack, 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 quack. Here they are. Four of them. One, two, three, four. Can you go a little faster, Mr. Horse? Asks cat and dog and pig and duck. Of course I can, says Mr. Horse, but make sure you hold on tight. So hold on tight, we're going on a fast run. Clippity clop, faster, faster, clippity clop, faster, faster. Let's to clap our hands. Clippity clop, faster, faster, clippity clop, faster, faster. Very well. Can you stand up right now? Stand up and walk like a high stepping horses. High stepping horses, high stepping horses, high stepping horses when jiggity jiggity jog. It's not easy. Let's try one more time. High stepping horses, high stepping horses, high stepping very good and one more time high stepping horses high stepping horses high stepping horses when you get to do it very well high stepping horses high stepping horses high stepping horses when you get to do it 
has de bejoces, has de bejoces, has de bejoces, well, sleepy to sleepy to sleep. I put the horses to sleep. But let's to pretend to sleep while we are sleeping. We can imagine what horses we want. Hush, bye, don't you cry. Go to sleep, my little baby. When you wake, you can have all the pretty little horses. All the brown ones, all the black ones, all the pretty little horses. All the yellow ones, all the red ones, all the pretty little horses. All green ones, all pink ones, all the pretty little horses. Any color that you want. And I have a book for you right now to read if I had a horse. Let's see what this in this book, what the dream is in this book. And this book was written by Gianna Marino. And I'm going to read this book with permission from Macmillan Publisher. This one is a purple one. If I had a horse, if I had a horse, I would bring him the biggest apple I could find. All right, because the horse like apple, but he doesn't take it. Might be, he might be shy like me. Let's see what happens next. But if I stay quiet, he would learn to be my friend. So you have to wait, you have to tame your horse. If I had a horse, I would hug him. Okay, and after hugging, until he let me climb on his back. This is a good idea to hug and then climb on the back. At first, I might have to tame him. <laughs> he doesn't want to take a ride. And we might not agree on everything. <laughs> you can push me away. I would he be strong like him. He would have to be gentle like me. <laughs> yes, the horses, they can be so gentle. If I had a horse, we would be brave together. And what will happen next? We would explore places we've never been. Clippity-clop, clippity-clop, clop, clop, clippity-clop. And run wild with new friends. It's so beautiful. But no other horse would be like my horse. If I had a horse, I would be fearless like him. And together, what do you think we could do together with your horse? We could do anything! So the horses can be very, very different. And you know, let's to practice our counting with bell horses. I have a bell here. And when I ring the bell, you just have to sing with me what the time of day. Like this. Bell horses, bell horses, what the time of day. One o'clock. Two o'clock, time away. One more time, just listen carefully. Bell horses, bell horses, what the time of day? Three o'clock, four o'clock, time away. One more time. Bell horses, bell horses, what the time of day? Six o'clock, 
time my way. Very good. So with the bell horses, you can practice your counting every day. And if you do not have any horse, don't be upset. Get pencil or pen and paper and we are going to draw horse. While you going and trying to find your piece of paper and pencil, I'm going to sing you another song. I like to take my horse and buggy so they could go through the town. I like to hear all the things clip clop. I like to feel those wheels go round. Horsey, horsey, on your way. We've been together for many a day, so let your tail go swish and wheels go round. Giddy up, we homeward bound. So, you ready right now to draw your horse? Yes, you got a pencil and a piece of paper. How many legs horse has? Four, you right. Let's do four legs. One, two, three, four. Okay, we made four legs. Did you do four legs? I'm waiting for you. Let's do hooves too. One, two, three, four. So four hooves. Now we need to draw back of our hooves. And more. Now we will do her face like this. Face and we will put the ears here and we will put eyes and if you want you can put the bank here and we need to put a big smile to our horsey yeah the smile and we need to put name and what else we need? You're right, we forgot tail. Let's to put the horsey tail here. And I want to make eyelashes to my horse. Like this. With the love your horse. And I will name my horse Blue Light. Did you get a name for your horse? You did. Okay. And let's start to read the book right now. Randy the badly drawn. No, 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 no badly. Beautiful horse. Look at this drawing. It looks like ours, yes? And this is book that teach you how. That teach you how to draw the horse. The book is written by T. L. Macbeth. And I'm going to read this book with permission from Macmillan Publisher. Reindeer, the badly drawn, no, 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 the beautiful horse. Mom, look, I drew a beautiful horse. He is beautiful. Great job, dear. Did your mom told you that you did a really good job on your horse? I am a beautiful horse. Everyone loves me. This is Reindeer. He even has a medal here. What's his name, honey? I will call him Reindeer. Reindeer must be most refined and sophisticated name, reserved only for the most special of creatures. Yes, for sure. Reindeer likes to run. My gorgeous mane blows in the breeze. My long, elegant legs glide across the ground. My silky coat gleams and sparkles in the bright sunlight. My perfect smile lights up the sky. Oh, all that running made Randy hungry. Oh. <laughs> Ignore the squiggly lines and gurgly noises. Everything is fine with my stomach. Randy is a good chef, just like me. I'm a great chef. 
grew like culinary creations should be served at the five-star restaurant. Oh, oh, Randy made a mess. Look, he's chewing peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Oh, look, all of the pages. What is this? <laughs> he really likes his sandwich. Randy cleans up. Wait a second, I didn't make this mess. Who did that? Do you know? But I suppose I could help you clean it up. What a good horse. Now Randy is going to be a hero on adventure. This is more like it, a valiant quest of courage. Surely I'm destined for greatness. Do -do. <laughs> he travels up a mountain. But he gets stuck. I'm okay. I'm not stuck. Everything is fine. Just one minute. Who could put such a trap in the middle of the book? Uh, this is just to keep pages together. We should have it. Hop. Finally, I have freed myself from the mighty crevice. Randy keeps going. So we name it Crevice. Through the forest. I must press on. I am after all a hero on a voyage to an unknown destination. Oh, in the desert. Sun is so hot. So thirsty. What does he need right now? You're right, he needs some water. He keeps going. Are we there yet? And going. This is ridiculous. I have just about enough for this adventure. Keep going, keep going. Randy finally arrives. Look at this water. I need to drink. Randy goes to the water to take a big drink. Oh, wait a second, who is that? Is that me? I am not beautiful at all. What is my gorgeous mane? What is my long, elegant legs? My coat isn't silky or gleaming, and it's certainly not sparkly. My smile doesn't even light up the sky. All this time I thought I was a majestic and beautiful horse. How can this be? Oh, he got so upset. Randy did it. Did work. He is a good adventurer. Wait, I am? I love Randy, my beautiful horse. You do? I am beautiful, aren't it? Of course, you're so beautiful. And this is how to draw your beautiful horse, guys. Now, my friends, put your pencil and paper away and let's tickle clouds, tickle toes, turn around, tickle your nose, reach down low, reach up high, Story time is over, so wave goodbye. We wave and sing goodbye. We wave and sing goodbye. With our friends at story time, we wave and sing goodbye. We stomp and sing goodbye. We stomp and sing goodbye. With our friends at story time, we stomp and sing goodbye. Goodbye, my friends, and I will see you in the library. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful day. Bye.